What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the X Transbots Aegis, their version of a Masterpiece Trailbreaker. So, this came out a, a little while ago. I, I wasn't able to get a hold of it. This is a, actually a reissue, I guess. Um, and it came with my Pyin, their version of Hoist. So, I decided to take a look at them together. I just looked at the uh, the pie-in figure. So we're going to bring that in for comparison here uh, a little bit later. But here is the vehicle mode. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle mode. Here's the front. You've got some nice details there. It says turbo. you got the headlights, the turn signals there, some reflectors, nice silver bumper, chrome wheels, rubber tires. You do have rear view mirrors. These came separate in the box. So you just put them in. Um, they fit nice and securely in there. Um, but you do need to move them for transformation. You can rotate them. You don't have to take them out. You got that nice classic uh, three stripes there that Trailbreaker is known for. That looks good. Here's the back. Got some tail lights with the turn signals. And then again, another silver bumper. All in all, some nice details here are all around. You do have the uh, cab on the top or whatever you call this. The cap on top of the truck. That does look nice as well. You see some robot parts in there, but not a big deal overall. Looks good. I like the way this looks a lot. I like the blue translucent windows because that matches a lot better with the more recent figures we've been getting from the Masterpiece lines. All right, now let's take a look at his accessories. He does come with a few accessories. It comes with this radar dish. It is a pearlescent white. And then the, the gray or the black matches and you just tab it in there into that slot. It's a little difficult to get in there, but you can get it. There he is with his radar dish. That looks pretty cool. So there he is next to the MP10 uh, from Hasbro and then the Fans Toys version of Braun. Just want to give you a sense of size. So next to the mini bot, he's definitely bigger, but also smaller than the semi truck. So size wise, I think he fits in. He looks good. He's the same size as Pyin, so. Um, you know, that's that's what we expected. Okay, now let's get this guy transformed into his robot mode. And you probably will need a spudger just for one part. So just letting you know, you don't have to, but I like to use the spudger. Just prevents me from, you know, trying to use my nails. Um, so you do want to get this panel up and it's tricky. You got to get this little tab off. So I like to stick a spudger and kind of pop it out. That's the easiest way. And then once you get a corner popped out, you can kind of lift it off. If you still can't get it, then you can pop the other corner using a spudger. And now you can lift this up and open up this tailgate. I guess that's a feature. If you want to use that as an opening tailgate, you could. It does look nice, you know. Uh, then you want to pop here. So these are both pegged in on each side. So you got to get up in here and pop that little tab right there. So same on this side, go ahead and pop that tab up. There we go. And then for the rest of this transformation, you don't really need the, uh, you don't really need the spudger for the rest. Uh, make sure you untab these from in here. These are just tabbed in right there. Um, they, they haven't broken on mine, but I would be careful with these tiny little tabs that are going into this peg hole here. All right now that you have it all up, you can lift that up. Go ahead and fold. I'll show you what we're doing here. You can fold these panels out, fold these panels in, and just leave it like that for now because we're going to have to. Um, actually, you know what? We can put it together. So go ahead and close the side panels, and then you're going to peg this into the back. And we can just leave that like that for now. Right? That's going to become part of his backpack, obviously. All right, now we want to get these uh, legs out. So I recommend you um, untab from here. So there's a tab and a tab there. Uh, and then you can untab from here and there are pegs that are holding it in so go ahead and pull the, the wheels out just a little bit you'll see there's a tiny tab that's holding and then once you do that you should be able to lift um, 
I guess you didn't need to take this tab out, but you can lift this entire leg piece up. Make sure you've cleared this tab because that might scratch. I've noticed that that's kind of close. Um, unpeg here, and now you can lift the entire leg up and out of the way. So same on this side, unpeg from here, and then you can rotate. Make sure you've got the wheel released and rotate the entire leg back. Right? You should have basically the legs folded like this. Right? Come right here, and that tab I was talking about earlier, you can unpeg that from here. And then this is going to uh, fold downwards. So go ahead and take this tab and fold this tab <coughs> all the way to the other side. Same on this side, unpeg it from here if you haven't already. And then fold this tab all the way down to the other side. That's going to make the side of the foot. <clears throat> all right, once you do that, we can unpeg this. So take off this panel here. Uh, it doesn't feel so great, but um, just be careful. It is on painted die-cast metal, so you want to be careful with the actual the paint on there. But basically unpeg this from here and fold it out. And this is the paint I'm talking about. Just be careful with that. <clears throat> so fold that all the way out like that. Okay. And this panel is what's what's catching here, so you just want to be careful with that. Fold the leg down. Then we can work on the inside here. You might need a spudger for this. Uh, if you can get it, you can get it. If you can't, then you're going to need a spudger. But you want to get this panel out of here. And it's, it's folded up in there, so it's a little bit difficult to get to. Um, but, let's see. It might help if you fold the... Uh, the foot down and then get it from here, this angle. There we go. So once you have it pushed up, then you can flip this panel out. You're going to flip this panel the other direction, basically 90 degrees all the way around, or sorry, 180 degrees all the way other direction. Go ahead and take this leg, uh, make sure you have this open, and you're going to accordion this down, and this panel is going to have to come down and inside, so you can see how that's going to accordion down and in, just like that. Oh, before I do that, flip the uh, flip the wheel in. Now you can close this up. Um, leave this panel open. Um, this is going to come around to the other side, and it's going to basically make a filler piece right here on this part of the leg. Then you can close this down, close up the foot, open up his toe, and there you go. There's one leg, pretty much all done. So you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, so we'll do that off camera. And right, now we got the legs done, we can work on the rest of the body, and um, I, I, I guess I'll save this for later, but just be careful with this paint. Um, it is a little bit sensitive to transformation. All right, so we're gonna work on the rest of this, and it is a little bit tricky, so you kind of have to get the sequence right, and it's it's a little bit annoying. But uh, rotate these rear view mirrors all the way down like that, so they're just sitting on the side. Then you're gonna unpeg the arms from the front of the car. It is a little bit tight, so you're going to have to work it out little by little. Try not to put too much force on there, but you can see now that's loose. Once that's loose, that's going to give you a little bit of clearance. And I don't know if there's a better way to do this or not. I haven't found one. Um, but you need to get this, uh, this all clear. And it's a little bit tough. So um, go ahead and unpeg the arms, that's going to give you a little bit of space to work, and now you can just grab this piece and rotate that out, okay? Now that we've done that, we can, you've unpegged this arm from the wheel, so that's going to allow you to fold this upwards like that, and then you're going to fold this entire panel out to the side, right? Then you can take this arm, you're just like the Pion figure, you're going to push this in and rotate that arm all the way, oops, not that way, this way, down until you get it straightened, straight with the rest of the arm, right? 
and we can leave that for now. Now let's work the other arm. So again, you've got a release from here. And I'm going to show this because, you know, it's a little bit challenging. Uh, once you loosen that, make sure you have this loose. That's going to give you a little bit of wiggle room. You can get this panel out. And I just don't like the way this works, but I don't know if there's a better way because there is a little bit of hindrance or clearance with that. Now that you got that, go ahead and pull out the arm. Rotate this down this way. And then push the arm in. And then rotate until it gets straight with the rest of the arm. Now that we have that, we can fold this up. You're going to fold the chest in. And actually we can fold these wheels. Oops, not that much. You're going to fold these wheels in a bit. And then this is going to fit down here. There are two tiny little tabs right here. And they're not, um, they're not that strong, but it should hold this chest in place. And yeah, you can see it doesn't hold it perfectly, but it's pretty good. Right. Get those wheels folded in. Um, now we can uh, just put the arms out of the way. Now we can get the head out of here. So the head has to clear the rest of this panel here. So basically make sure that fits through. And now we have the head on the other side. Rotate that up and then rotate that around. And now we can take care of this backpack stuff. If you haven't already, go ahead and rotate these to the front and just leave them there for now. So they're just sitting like that. We'll fix all that later. All right, now that we got that, let's take care of the rest of this. I do find this to not really stay very well. Go ahead and fold this hip skirt down. Uh, and if you don't do that for transformation, you're going to have a hard time getting it back into the uh, into the vehicle. Uh, you can see the uh, rear view mirror fell off. You can just put it back on. Not a big deal at all. All right. Now we can take care of the backpack, so go ahead and fold the backpack down. Uh, and this time we don't have as nearly as much, compared to Payan, stuff to clear. Uh, but you do have to get these two panels pegged in to his side. So they're going to go right here and here. So they have to basically go around his body. Make sure you have this angled upwards. And this is going to fit down and around. So it should slide right into there. And then the other part's going to tab in. So just make sure you got those two tabs around. Right in here. Let me move the arm out of the way, as you can see. So this tab is going to fit in right here. And now we got the backpack in there, kind of secured. We can work on the arms. So go ahead and rotate the arms. Just be careful. There is a little bit of clearance. Um, make this angle down. So same on this one. Make that angle down. Uh, when you're rotating these arms, make sure you're holding right here. There is a note in the instructions that say these ratchets have a problem if you don't do that. So just be careful with those ratchets. And grab the hand, fold that out. Take this panel here. That's going to flip all the way around. And peg right in. It doesn't really peg, it just kind of sits there, but make sure you have that in the right position. Rotate the elbow around, rotate the hand. Same on this side, rotate the hand down. Fold this panel out. And just make sure you have that in the right position. Uh, if you didn't have this panel folded, obviously fold that to cover down on the, on the uh, wrist here. Rotate that down, rotate the hand, pull out the elbows, and get them situated. You can take these and rotate this back, like that. And on this one, you can basically have that kind of however you like. But there you have Aegis, all transformed up into his robot mode. And he's a really good looking robot. I like the, uh, the look they have here. I think... I think they nailed the uh, cartoon aesthetic. Speaking of the cartoon, let's put the G1 cartoon there in the corner. 
And you can take a look. We'll do a quick 360. All in all, pretty nice. Now the colors is what's different here. So they changed sort of the knees. They've changed this silver. This used to be silver. Now it's uh, pearlescent white. Maybe hard to tell on my camera here, but you got pearlescent white here and here and down here. And also the uh, weapons on his back, the scanner and the weapon are both uh, pearlescent white. Here's the back. You got that red on the knees. Um, I'll talk about that in a little bit, but there are some paint scrapes and scuffs on that and I've been very careful but there seems like no matter what you do some of the paint on this tends to uh, come off. Overall the paint job on the hood very nicely done. I love the way that looks. Nice and shiny. Really quite beautiful. Now let's go over his articulation. So the head is on the same joint as the Pion figure so it goes up to there, down to there and rotates. It's on a rotating swivel. Um, you can pop it off that mushroom peg and replace the head like a show with the accessories. You do get a rotation here at the bicep. Um, these joints do pull out, so if you want to get it further out, and I guess I'll have to check the pion figure to see if it does that as well. Um, but you get a you get a articulation on the inside joint there. And then if you hold here, you can articulate here on this shoulder joint. It's supposed to be ratcheted. I guess it's a very soft ratchet. Compared to Payan, this this one seems really soft. Uh, you have a rotation at the bicep. You have a single jointed elbow gets you up to there. Rotation at the wrist. The fingers on a single pin, except the pointer finger, which is separate. And but because it's curled, you can't really get a pointer finger, but you can get it like that. And then the thumb is on two joints, so one down here, a ball joint, and then a pin at the top. Uh, I, I guess I'll mention these. You do have these can articulate here, here, and here. So there's three points of articulation. And you can kind of get it however you want. Me personally, I like to have it back like this. This one, same thing. You got a joint here, and then you have a joint up here. So you can kind of get those posed however you like, you prefer. Uh, and then they do go in and out a little bit, but that's mostly for transformation. Continuing down, you do have a rotation at the waist. No um, ab crunch there. You have hip skirts back here and up here. The legs go up 90 degrees, back 90 degrees, out to the side, a little bit over 90 degrees. Rotation at the thigh. And you have a double jointed knee. Now it's a little hard to get the second knee to go. So this ratchet is you know used during transformations. So you have that knee. And then you have this knee on the inside. Um, that one, you know, it's held by just a very tiny little piece of plastic here and there are paint flecks coming off of there So I don't know how Sturdy that's gonna be over time. I'm a little worried about that, but you do get the double jointed knee So we'll give it to him so you can get some poses out of that and Continuing down you do have the ankle tilt out to there. You have a toe tilt but no uh, back and forth tilt on the, on the ankle. So that's really it for articulation. Pretty well articulated overall. I think they did a good job, uh, especially for, you know, the size of this character. Um, I guess I might have missed that joint on Pyan, so let's take a look at Pyan really quick, and then we'll do a bot comparison at the same time. So there he is with the Transform Element Optimus Prime and the X Transbots Pyan figure, their version of Hoist. Um, let's see if I missed. Yeah, I did miss that. So there was a joint there. My apologies. I guess you can pull this out, and that gives you much more movement here, and it doesn't it doesn't uh, collide. So uh, you get it does look a little bit weird, but I like that. That actually looks better because then you can get his range of motion a little bit better. Um, this one did have an ankle tilt, so it's a little bit different design than this one. Now, I like that they make them different. He's also shorter, so you can see they're not the exact same mold. I think that's a good decision because these characters are a little bit different. They, they have the same vehicle mode, but they're different in the robot mode. So I like that it's a little bit shorter. It differentiates them. Uh, quite a bit. And now let's take a look at the accessories. So some of the accessories you do have to take the hand off. So his G1 image does have him with this hand off or I guess inside whatever and then this attachment is gone or whatever and that looks pretty cool. 
Uh, I do think it goes this way because on the underside you've got that cut there, so I'm pretty sure they want to hide the cut joint. Um, it, it does transform with that in there if you wanted to transform that way. Um, but you also have some other accessories, so you do have this translucent piece, which is intended for this. So you can get that on there. It just press fits onto there, and then you can have it look like it's scanning or it's got <clears throat> waves, I don't know, radio waves, whatever you want. The other accessories, you need to um, rotate this hand to the inside. So go ahead and open up this panel here and open up the hand and fold it flat. Make sure it's flat like that and then that's going to fold inside his arm. And make sure you get that all the way in and then you're going to close this panel on top to hide away the hand. Like so. And then you've got a slot there and these things can attach. So first you can use this piece which is from his cartoon look. So you can have that. I think that looks pretty cool. All of these weapons are painted that pearlescent white if you can't tell on my camera. That looks nice. I like the look of these weapons. Uh, you also have this piece which is a piece that you can attach the ratchet weapons. So go ahead and put that an adapter and then you can take MP Ratchet's welder or whatever you call this thing his repair weapon and that attaches to his arm and now he can use MP Ratchet's welder. The last accessory we have here are the faces. So you get three alternate faces and then one alternate head. So here's the alternate head. I guess they made these ears go in and out so he can still transform because I think it's a little bit wider than the original head. So you maybe you have to push these in to get it past that um, bracket. But we'll put all these on so you can see what they look like. The faces, you do have to unscrew the head unfortunately, so um, I'm just going to put them on loose so you can see what they look like, but I'm not going to spend um, too much time showing you. There's basically a screw in the back of the head. So you're going to take that screw out, you're going to pull apart the head, put the new face on. So we'll do that off camera and then I can show you each face. There he is with the happy, sort of smiling face. That looks pretty good. Um, and there is the yelling face there. Um, pretty good, I like that one. And there is a you know, slightly scowling face. He's kind of straight face, but it's a little bit more of a scowl than the original face. And finally, there is the toy head. I definitely, <laughs> it's not for me, but some people might like the toy head. Uh, it's cool that they give it to you. It slides off just like the Pyan figure. You just slide off the mushroom peg. I'd be careful with those mushroom pegs because they don't seem um, very strong, but just pick a head, pick a face, and then stick with it. I'm going to stick with the straight face. And the final accessory you get here are these little logs with for the tea party. So here's the top of this. You got a teapot and then two little teacups on top of the stump here. You know, this is from the time they went camping, I guess. And I don't really know what you're supposed to do with this. There is a little hole there. I do have a little paint defect here. But I don't know what you're supposed to put in there. I, I don't have any more pieces. That's all it came with is th these three pieces. And they don't tab together or anything. But you can take uh, Spike here and have him sitting on the log. And then, I don't know, <laughs> whatever. So final thoughts on Aegis. I really like him. I like the look of him. I think they've got really nice colors on this guy all the way around. I think that it's a good um, contrast with the, the red and the, uh, I guess, pearl white and the grayish. I guess I didn't even talk about it. It's more like a graphite than, than really a black. The original was all black. And, you know, if you look at the G1 image, which, you know, I probably showed as we were going here, um, it is not quite all black, so maybe that's why they made the change. Um, and then if you bring in the other guy here, here's Payan. These two really do look good together. I like the differentiation between the two. I like that they're very different size, shapes. The design of the legs is very different. You can see the feet and the legs are, are totally different. The, the backpack is totally different. Oops. Um, you can see, you know, they, they really have changed quite a bit. So I appreciate that. I appreciate they didn't just copy it and, and reissue it exactly the same. Now, again, these are reissues, so they're just repainted. You don't really get anything new. The accessories are pretty much the same accessories that we've gotten before. So 
not too much new there. So if you already own these two in the original releases, you're probably not going to pick this up unless you're really into the, the tune look. For me personally, I don't have a Trailbreaker or a Hoist, so this is going to be my stand-in right now. But um, I recommend them if you don't have them. Um, there are also other options, so you do have the MMC and you do have, I think there was one other company that made it. Uh, in my opinion, I think this is the best looking of all the options that are out there. But of course you can choose um, you know, what, uh, whatever uh, works for you best, right? Uh, for me personally, I think this is one of the better looking choices of, uh, out there. So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. But um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.